I'm in the memorial area today and it is a flip house. Guess what? I have some funny flip finds. Let's go check it out. Okay, so on my first initial walkthrough, I noticed that there was uh, some roof damage just by looking out the window. So whenever you're first looking through your property, this is one of the things you want to take in mind. They said that this roof belongs to the HOA, but that could mean anything. You know how many claims have been put on the roof, but let's go up to the roof and take a look. Okay, I see this on pretty much every flat roof. Whenever you see a, a bunch of debris build up and you see a discoloration across the roof, almost like there's been ponding in place, you know that the roof is just holding water here. Even though it's flat, there should still be some sort of pitch where water can easily flow off the roof. This, if it's not leaking, it will leak in the near future. You can see in the same scenario right here too as well. I have a bunch of granule build up right here. Also, you can see where the water is sitting right here. I don't see any water stains inside because everything's been patched and painted. It's fresh, it looks clean. But we know that this roof is close to the end of its life. <laughs> I like how they took care of this plumbing stack. That's a funny one. You always wanna make sure all trees are trimmed away from the roof structure. I did make it up this uh, pitch right here. I was able to do it because the roof was flat. I don't want to take the camera up there, but I'll take some pictures from my small digital camera and I'll follow it with this. It just shows you some more reasons why it's always good to get up to the top of the roof or drone it. You just want to see every portion of the roof you can because this uh, portion of the roof has some serious damage on it. And then for my final roof line, you can see how this flue is uh, leaning out of place and in an easy spot where a water can make it in right here. I'm starting to wish I had my cameraman today, but um, I'm going to hit this tub. I'm going to try to knock it all out at once. It's pretty much installed wrong from top to bottom, but I didn't get any leaks on it, which is impressive. But the first thing is, is every time I see one of these plastic tubs, they never install them right. They're always loose. I see it a lot in the inspector forms. They always think it's funny, you know, showing this uh, online. Also, the next thing that I've noticed is the faucet. It's not installed properly. They don't have any type of lockout from it moving left or right, and it can easily spray water on the floor. So if you have a little one in here and they're playing with the faucet when it's running, they're just gonna create a, a huge mess. Then I look over just the edge of the tub and then I notice that they didn't even finish installing the floor behind it, which is kind of crazy. But the biggest concern is actually they have a plug and a switch within arm's length of the tub. You're, you're not allowed to have any switches or electricity inside the shower area or the bathtub area too as well. So definitely no, no. And then the final one is in the shower right here. The uh, shower faucet assembly, it's, it's really loose. So we're just gonna ask for a plumber to get in here. Uh, let's go check out the last item. Okay, for one of the last finds, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to show on the camera. So I'm just gonna talk about it a little bit. Whenever I was walking through the house, I always used, like to use an infrared thermometer and I'll hit all the registers. And I noticed when I was in the kitchen, it was about 10 degrees higher. So we know we need an HVAC technician to come in here because we know that side of the house won't be uh, cooled properly at all. So uh, that's it with this. I had, actually had one more find to show you outside. Let's go check it out. Okay, for the real last find on this video, I noticed that this brick wall was actually leaning to the side a little bit. This actually didn't raise my concern too much on the main structure because I didn't see any signs of stress indicators on the main structure itself. Where this probably came from was the poor drainage in the backyard. But with this wall leaning so, uh, shows so much deflection and it's leaning so far over, this is definitely a safety concern and it did make it into my report on this property. That's Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give me a call and please like and share the videos. Bye guys.